Hello and welcome to this video on sacrifice branches in bonsai. Not all bonsai are ready for display on arrival. In fact, this is the exception to the rule. Some trees begin with good shape and size, but this is still not the norm. Most trees have defects and blemishes that need to be worked on. This is where sacrifice branches come into play. Sacrifice branches are a way to develop trunk size and correct taper in your tree. It is similar to coppicing and how it works. The concept is simple in practice, but there are a few quirks to be aware of. The method works by developing a small branch from the main trunk of your tree for a few years with the intention of removing it later. This can be any branch but smaller ones tend to be less desirable for styling and are not going to be missed in the long term. It is best to select one that is on the back of your tree if you want the damage from this to be hidden. Allowing this branch to grow unchecked like this causes the tree to have a blockage. This block makes the tree put more growth below that point in to support the branch. As the branch gets longer, the nutrient demand increases, and so the trunk gets thicker. This leads to the growth from the root flare up to the position of the sacrifice branch being greater than anything above it, which does not receive as much nutrition. This is a necessity to support the prioritized branch, as it thickens the trunk to both physically support and nutritionally support the new branch with greater carrying capacity. This is analogous to adding more lanes to a major road, which increases the road's carrying capacity. Let's look at some demonstrations of this. This fuchsia has a little movement, which makes it a good long-term project. The drawbacks to it include, but are not limited, to the size and taper of the trunk. When these are sorted, it will be very nice. Now it could be planted into the ground and left to grow for several years if you are inclined. This would certainly put on the extra girth. It would also need to be dug up, put in the training pot, repotted and trained over time. This is not an especially appealing option if it has come in a pot already. This is the case of the earlier mentioned fuchsia, and a sacrifice branch would solve this problem and could drastically reduce the time needed. In another example here, you can see how thin and spindly this tree is. A sacrifice branch would help by giving the trunk more taper and size overall. This would assist in creating the right perspective for the tree. Once the tree is a good size and healthy, it can then be worked on again. You see something similar here with this other fuchsia it is relatively small, and there are very few branches on it. By allowing the branch on the bottom right to grow out, the amount of growth overall for the plant is increased, and this helps to support its health overall. This will allow it to grow better and faster. Once it is healthy and of a good size, it can be styled, and will hopefully have a trunk with good taper already. To make use of sacrifice branches, you start the branch off as straight as possible. Let it keep growing in a straight line, away from the tree. Trim any shoots from the side, leaving only those at the end. This encourages the branch to grow further forward as the tree tries to get more branches and more leaves started. Toward the end of the growing season, let the branch put a few more leaves on the end. This ensures the tree remains healthy and will come back strong next season. In different species, the amount of growth in length can vary drastically. Some trees have slow growth, like junipers. Others that are better suited to this include pine trees, which do not readily put on new side branches or back bud. The process may take several years before the branch has grown enough for the trunk to thicken to the point that you are satisfied. This may also mean the branch is several meters long. 
you now cut the branch back to the trunk. Use your knob cutters to cut into the trunk and remove the stub of the branch. This creates a concave fissure. This will gradually scar and heal over the next few years. When using sacrifice branches, you need to start at the highest point of the tree you want to develop. You then work your way down the trunk. This is because growth of the trunk does not occur above the sacrifice branch. Starting at the top gives you taper, whereas the bottom will do something similar but in a less controlled way. Look at these two side-by-side -side images, showing the concentric growth of the tree, depending on whether you start at the top with the sacrifice branch or at the bottom with the sacrifice branch. You can choose to either use one sacrifice branch over several years or one branch each year for several years. The first option creates a bigger scar at the end, but it is quicker. The alternative creates less scarring, but it is slower. At the start, it was said that you could either plant out or use sacrifice branches, and this is not entirely true. The two can be used in conjunction. The process is the same, but you get a bigger sacrifice branch sooner, and it will be more difficult to keep in check. Using Nabari techniques may be more suitable in this instance. This method can also be used to correct defects in the profile of your tree trunk if it has a sudden constriction or reverse taper. The same method is used to grow the trunk out to better proportions. As you can see, this process can take a long time to complete. Up to 5 years for the branch, and then up to another 5 years for the scar to heal over in large specimens. If your trees are smaller, the process is over that much sooner. It's a question of how much time you have, and how much risk you are willing to take. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found its contents useful, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions below.